action. Welcome back. We are still doing experiment one, but now we're doing the part where we want to be able to use the thermometer to measure the temperature of the room and also to measure the temperature of a water ice bath. So first, what we want to go over is when we're dealing with these thermometers, unlike medical thermometers, we do not need to shake these down. Okay. So when we want to measure the temperature of something, if we hold it like this, we're not measuring the temperature of the room, we're actually now measuring the temperature of my hand. So we always want to make sure that our hand is away from the actual liquid inside of the thermometer. So what we want to do is we're going to have our thermometer and we're going to just wait until it stops moving and then we'll be able to measure the volume, or the volume, the temperature. That Sorry. too. Um, so what we will do is we will take a picture of this and then we will have you be able to measure the temperature of the actual room. Okay. So now we want to measure the temperature of the water bath, ice water bath. And so we'll place this inside. And as you can see, um, the liquid inside is dropping. And so again, we're going to wait until it stops moving. And then that will give us the temperature of our ice water bath.